God's love never fails to stir me up <laughs> to new life and to persevere with what I have undertaken to do, um, believing and trusting that this is his will and his work. But what I want to reflect on today is that <clears throat> I am aware deep in me of something that wants a bit of pizzazz that would like something new, but I'm actually not doing Christ a service. In him, through him, every day is different. If we really bother to come out of here and into here, then nothing is ever the same. Nothing. Because through Christ, he's the creator of all things. He is the redeemer of our souls. So as I allow him to redeem my soul, I see things differently. And as I surrender this new bit of me to his purposes, then my life, um, my creativity, my work, takes on new dimensions. I remember a long, long time ago um, doing some work on uh, perception. And uh, there was a man called Merlo Ponty. I don't know whether people would call him a philosopher or, or whatever. But I was really struck by his work. And it led my research and my thinking down um, new ways. Because in terms of being a teacher and enabling people to learn, what I needed to do for people was to help them to perceive and to see what they saw now. And then with new experience and new practices, what they were then seeing, et cetera, et cetera. So our lives are very much about perception about what we see and how we see it and the, the, the purposes that our seeing has. So it's very much to do with Christ's total trust in the Father, in his ability and grace to do what the Father tells him, and but nevertheless, in his heart, in the Father's heart, is this constant creativity. Um, no two flowers on the same plant are the same. No two leaves on the same plant are the same. Which means that if we are really trusting God, listening to God, seeking God, seeking his heart, there will always be growth. There will always be renewal, renewal. And our problem is in here, wanting something new. I think it relates to what St. Paul said about he was talking about the the Jews and the and the Greeks and their attitudes in relation to the cross, and <clears throat> he said that the the cross was a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness for the Greeks because the Greeks are always seeking understanding and and new knowledge, but the cross is the way of life. So if we're feeling stuck in things being the same, let's go to the cross. Let's seek new life. And Lord, we put 
at the foot of your cross all the stumbling blocks of life, all the vain glory. all the faint-heartedness. I give you my faint-heartedness, Lord. My desire for something new. And I put it at the foot of your cross and I seek resurrection. So I pray for all those who pray that they may grow through death and resurrection into new life, so that all our vainglorious uh, platitudes and habits may be thrown into the air and find new life, faith, trust to your praise and glory. And Lord, I just pray that you will inspire the, the prayers for the world as I go to share the screen now and pray for the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from every stain, every block, every disappointment, and, O oh good ones, save our souls. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to do this in French. Gloire au Père et au Fils et au Saint-Esprit, comme elle est maintenant et toujours, et dans les siècles des siècles. Amen. Notre Père qui es aux cieux, Que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour, et pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous soumets pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du malin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. We are praying, as Jesus requested, for purity of heart, humility, unity, and love that always makes things new. So we pray for ourselves for all women within the church, and for women who have no faith or trust in God. And we pray for the men in the church and for those who have no faith or trust in God. Heavenly Father, glorious Lord, Holy Spirit, we pray for a renewal, a blessing, on all women and men in the church. I pray for a shake-up so that hearts and minds and spirits are open to your love, to your grace, 
and to your purposes in new ways and new ways within the old ways. And in using your Holy Spirit, I pray for a purification of all those men and women who pray for your church, who pray for your world. I pray for strength, courage, boldness, to pray your will be done and to trust and believe that your will is being done and will be done in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for our families, for health, harmony, and faith in God's provision, for our communities, and all those with any kind of position of authority. Lord, I thank you for these uh, mini communities as families or, or actual communities that bring people together for divine purposes. Lord, we are limited. We are limited by what we know. We are limited by what we do. We're limited by what we believe. I pray, Lord, I pray for your Holy Spirit, like a wind to blow through your church, to bring harmony, to cleanse, and to strengthen all those who seek your heart and mind and will. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for our countries, the use of finances and all the resources that they have at personal and national level, and for all those in positions of leadership and authority. Lord, I pray for a stirring up of your Holy Spirit of gratitude, of grace, of truth. I pray for purity of heart and graciousness of spirit. I pray, Lord, that through the prayers of the Holy Spirit, all will know that you are God. Lord, we ask for your mercy, your grace. Lord, through your spirit, cause all those who are not seeking the good of their people, all their people, I pray that you will cause them to take care of the impoverished, that you will cause them to protect from evil all those who are being persecuted by factions within their country. And we pray for your will to be done so all can receive notice of your worship and love. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for all our enemies at personal, family, community, church, or national level. Lord, through your cross, give us grace and heartedness.
to pray for our enemies and to bless them. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. May we grow in love and obedience to your commandments. May your light shine ever more purely in our hearts, that your grace sets us free to live to your praise and glory, standing for your light. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us honour Father, Son and Holy Spirit and let us praise and give thanks for every moment, every day and accept our trials as gifts and ask the Lord to show us and to give us grace to accept and to love all that we are given. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to stop the recording. May your week be blessed. As we go to love and serve the Lord. Amen.